Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we biked all the way to Mount Royal Park. It's Montreal's most beautiful park and we show you the top five must-see sites along our route. This beautiful park is quintessential Montreal and it offers a little something for everyone. In this video, we finally get the green light for some non-essential travel. Although that may sound a little dry to some, to us, it sounded like the waves of the shoreline. In this video, we're going to Gaspizzi. Hey guys, this is Dory, and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog, Fiona, to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. So final walk around. We're good. The log. We're ready, we're set, and we go. Quick stop for coffee again. Starbucks. Sort of a tradition. Every time we go on the long drive, we like to have a little coffee next to us. Super excited to be on the road again. We've been back since April. So it's been a long three months. Nitro. Nitro. Cold brew? Oh, I like oh, the lids. Look at that. It's, mm. it's not cold brew, it's nitro. So is it like a espresso shot? No, it's coffee with carbonated water. Oh, me gusta. It's like beer, guys. Mm. Oh, I was supposed to walk the... I walked her. Oh, thank you. break time so we just got to Quebec City filled up the car half a tank and now time to have a little bite easy meals that we do when we're driving on the road burritos Montreal was 31 degrees and now it's like 15. So we just got to Rimouski and it's chilly. Time to fuel up. It's almost 4.30, about 4 o'clock. Fuel is 105. Yeah, pretty much the same thing like we left in Montreal. So half a tank was $64. It's about 61 liter. So what it is at least it's not california prices right dinner time
probably gonna drive until sundown I guess GPS has me arriving around 10 o'clock at the campground so actually 9 o'clock but because we're stopping it's gonna push me close to 10 o'clock I'm gonna try to get as close as possible to the campground so we don't have to drive tomorrow a lot my only concern is to get cell phone signal we should we'll see anyway dinner time catch you guys on the road That's busy and it's cold. It is so cold. This morning it was so hot in Montreal that there was even uh, heat warnings. And uh, now we get here in Gaspésie and it's chilly. Got my winter jacket. It's about six o'clock today, right now, Sunday, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. And uh, we're gonna camp at Camp Walmart it's actually really cool because they have a sign right over there and it says they allow overnights RVs and they told us to stay in this area well you have one other fellow over there so that's gonna be it for today I catch you guys in the morning this time morning guys super early six in the morning we just got up Matan Walmart thank you great place such an amazing night's sleep but we're up and early because we got to go all the way to Gaspésie I think we have about four hours left to drive so we should arrive around 9 30 10 o'clock mm. quick tip <laughs> actually eating a pancake we didn't cook it this morning we made it before we left we cooked a few froze them and now we eat them it's perfect it's so easy and it becomes like a taco a little wrap kind of thing put peanut butter jelly wrap it up and you're good to go so we actually make a few of these and we use it for breakfast or quick lunches so easy meals cheap affordable and super healthy and delicious got to this rest stop that is just absolutely breathtaking it's okay so there's this little isthmus of land between two bodies of water so the St. Lawrence River is there and I think this is a little tiny little lake over here and this whole area that we've been driving through is very very foggy just gorgeous I mean 
very mountainous uh, at this part of the road. So the fog and the mountain and the seaside villages, I mean, so charming. It reminds me a lot of the seaside fishing villages in Newfoundland, a lot. And to think that this is only, you know, 10 to 12 hours away from us, where Newfoundland is quite a trek. So it's quite a discovery for us because number one, we think we're definitely gonna be back here in the near future. And it's just so exciting that this is so close by, that this beautiful playground is so close to us. So we're definitely happy to be back on the road. It's been exactly three months uh, since we've been in Montreal in the condo. And normally we would be around, <laughs> maybe not necessarily in the condos, the condos would have been rented out. But we would have been in this area and we had the reservation at the campground set for September but because they just reopened and they have to close off certain campsites our campsite was closed and they actually enabled us to change our dates without any change fee which just turned out perfectly because my birthday was last week so it's kind of a birthday treat for us now we want to show you what this place looks like from the sky. So we made it to uh, the National Park, Fillon, Fillon, I always butcher that name, sorry. All right, it's close, dumping there, close, close. So we made it to uh, the National Park. Uh, in Gaspésie, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. You guys have no idea. And the weather is super nice. And let me tell you, the views over here are sick. Everywhere you go is beautiful. Reminds me of the Cabot Trail we did, but this is much closer, much better. We need to fill up fresh water because there's no water at the site. Yeah. And uh, also the dumping's here. I don't even know if they have dumping at the site. Do they have dumping at the site? No. So no water, no dumping, it's just electric? Just electric. Where's the water anyway? It's on the other side. Ah, it feels nice to be back home. Hey, what's the name of this park? which is Rosebush Cape, Cape Rosebush, and then the park is Parc Forillon in Gaspé. 
For Rion? Yeah, wow. Hey, Fee, you're gonna have a lot of snacks. They told us to make sure we fill up the RV over here with the fresh water on the phone. This was like Thursday or something, forget. But uh, they still haven't opened the water, so it's closed. So we have no water. We're supposed to stay here for a week. So hopefully we find a solution to this problem.